Before 1985, to do our takeoffs and estimates, we had wheels, scales, and paper plans. Around 1985, digitizers became available, and we still had paper plans. For the next 20 years, this is how we did our takeoffs and estimates. With changes in AutoCAD and other drafting software, and its capability of printing plans as PDFs, plans became electronic. Then general contractors, owners, and developers discovered they could now transfer the cost of printing plans to their subs by publishing their plans as PDF or TIFF files and telling their subs, if you want to bid our work, here are the plans. Subcontractors and GCs doing hard bids had no choice, and they gave in to the demand. So what happened? Instead of the owners printing the plans, subs and GCs purchased plotters and wide format printers at a cost of sometimes many thousands of dollars, and they printed the plans. So here we are printing plans at our cost and then using our wheels, scales, and digitizers. How much does that cost us? Say the average set of plans is 30 pages of 24 by 36 inch paper. That is 180 square feet of paper at somewhere between 8 and 10 cents per square foot in paper and ink costs $14.40 to $18. To say nothing of the labor time to print and then store them and maintain the equipment. There are some companies spending over $1,000 per month just in the paper and ink costs. There has to be a better way. With e-takeoff, we can leave traces and notes on electronic paper instead of using pencils and markers on paper plans while using a digitizer or just our hands. We can do concrete and foundation plans as easily as we do metal stud and drywall framing for floors and conventional roofs structural steel I-beams or the nailers on them excavating for utilities is a snap wouldn't you rather be using an electronic takeoff system